Random side missions, go. technically have a quest for this place, but I mean... At the very least, there's quite a bit of random crap for me to use. I don't know if I'm gonna pick it all up right now. I might come back and get it later. Just keep this in mind. Tuck it away. For when I need more supplies for making turrets. In particular, that's what comes to mind. Some lawn mowers, busted robots, piece of corn that's still apparently okay to eat. <laughs> Keep that. Planted at one of my settlements. Hmm. You're decorative. We'll take you though. Um. I'm also kind of collecting vases. Oh, shoot. Well, we knew this would happen eventually. Now I get to play the game of what am I going to drop to keep all this crap. <laughs> Won't be my pre-war money, I'll tell you that much. Need that. Jesus, dog meat. What if someone was behind that door? Creepy monkey sees all. Alright. Hold for a moment, please, while I run through my inventory. And we're back. Um, at a different angle. What I ended up actually doing is just uh, quickly running, well, dropping just enough stuff so that I could get out of here. And uh, then going home. I already have a short syringe rifle, uh, so I'm just going to leave that on the ground here. And let's continue our little journey through the store here and see what we find. If there's anything interesting... Died on the crapper. What a way to go. Um, kinda wonder why though. Could you be the reason why? I'm gonna quick save, guys. In my experience, these things do not react well to me. save this because they've clearly I still don't trust that you're not going to come after me at some point and if you do god help me because this is not exactly a great space for me to be fighting giant robots like yourself well, this was the other room that Dogmeat was exploring earlier. Alright, um... Take all that, sure. Why not? I know, boy. I know. It's a pretty shitty place to be right now. What a surprise indeed. How about- what's up here? Hopefully not death. I feel like playing devil's advocate now and going up to that thing and seeing what will happen.
Will you activate and destroy me? Will you? I can't remember what the quick save button is, and I'm afraid it might be toggled to one of my bandicam keys in case you're wondering why I'm doing that and not hitting the hotkey for it. Ooh. Alright. Well, it doesn't seem to want to do anything. Which is very strange. But I won't complain, because they are very much not fun to deal with. Now I understand why you died on the toilet a little better. Alright, let's head on out and continue on to the brewery. Is that where we're headed to? I think it's the brewery. I've forgotten all concept of where we're going. I just know that I picked a random quest before completing the random quest that I picked the first time because it was too easy. If I would have known how easy that was going to be, I would have done it a long time ago, but I figured it was going to be some big epic adventure. Apparently not. Just a couple mile lurks. Alright. Back on the road again. On the road again. Um, should I sneak? Should we sneak? Yeah, we'll sneak, boy. Actually, screw it. We'll take our chances. Dog meat found an enemy. What did you find and where? kind of enemy. I mean, I've been wandering through this town and just randomly found a death claw in an alley before, which I'm not gonna lie, was not a fun time, although I managed to sneak out of there mostly unharmed. God damn it, super mutants. Oh, it's a rat scorpion. That's a little... Less terrifying. Uh, yeah, let's keep going this way. So, looks like we're almost here, where we're here supposed to be. Just a little story, I guess, to keep us going until we get there. I'm rewatching How I Met Your Mother on Netflix over the holidays because it's really, really funny and I enjoy having things playing in the background while I do things such as, play games such as, um, The Sims or Minecraft. You know, games that you don't necess- that involve a lot of, like, waiting around and are not like this one where you have to be kind of immersed in order to be able to do anything and not die. Um... Watched an episode last night where they went looking for the perfect burger. For any of you who are familiar with the show at all, you might remember that episode. They go all over New York looking for a burger. I was watching this at like, I don't know, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And god damn it, I really want a burger now. After watching that episode. And Aram's making fun of me because he's like, yeah, if it was me, I'd want a burger for, like, that night. But then I'd go to sleep, wake up, and then I wouldn't want a burger anymore. But you, you will crave that thing until you get it. And by God, was he right. Because, yeah, I, I still very much want that burger. And I actually bought ingredients to make burgers for supper tonight. <laughs> and I'm talking, like, homemade burger patty sort of deal, not like pre-bought patties and stuff. I I'm going all out. It will be good times. And my tummy will be very happy when I am done. But see, the scary thing is, you know, not that I'm planning on having children anytime soon. This is what I'm like when I'm not pregnant. Just, just think about that. What the hell am I going to be like when I am pregnant and I'm starting to have all kinds of weird cravings? I, I actually kind of pity Aaron because I might end up having 
Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Hi, Silver Shroud. <laughs> Actually, you're not the Silver Shroud, but you're... I don't think you are. But you're like one of the thingies, the stand-ups. I kind of want to keep you. But I can't pick you up. Anywho. Yeah, so that was just a random thought that I had late at night, which is hilarious. Um, where are we to? We are on this way. I said, it feels like forever ago. I said, we're almost there. Uh-oh. My other laser claw. Where? Oh, you look fun. Um, fun and, you know, glitching through the boat sort of way. Oh, that helped. I love this shotgun because when you critical someone like that, it freezes them and it makes killing them that much easier. There we go. That actually would have been potentially pretty damn bad. Had I not had that crit ready. Now I know why I didn't do this quest right away, because we're going into Mirelurk territory. There's a lot of them around here. We'll make do. Book stationery. Apparently- ooh! Oh, that's another one of those cutouts. Why are there so many around here? Um... I was gonna say, apparently you can find a bar that's made to look like Cheers, or the one from Cheers around here. I don't know, are these friendlies or are these raiders? What? Raiders. Creep on out around that corner, lady. Come on, you wanna do it. you don't have a head. Poor life choices were made today, but not by me. Oh. Don't run to melee someone with a shotgun. I do more damage when you do that. Let's switch to a pistol for you. Oh, no, wait, you're... Worked out fine. What'd you find? Sometimes he finds like. What'd you find? This? I guess? That was weird. I've never heard him make that sound before. Usually just picks something up and brings it over and drops it at my feet, but I guess he just wanted me to find that. Oh. That could have been bad if I had seen it. <laughs> Freaking hate those turrets when they're not on my side. Well, it looks like we'll be going into our little place shortly. Like right now. The tap house. Here we go. Right, yeah, so I was saying, um, yeah, somewhere, I don't know where, but because this is moder modeled after Boston in this game, you can actually apparently find the bar from Cheers. It's not called Cheers. I think it's called something uh, in German that means Cheers or something like that. Maybe. And, um, there's a bunch of skeletons that are actually set up to look like the people from the show. Pint glasses, those are pretty. Shot glass. I'm gonna make my bar look pretty damn snazzy when I'm all done. <gasps> Two ball, six ball. There's all kinds of stuff here that I want for my house. 
Look! There's two teddies playing chess and one of them is holding some beer. <laughs> I found actually, uh... What was it? A teddy bear who was trapped under a trash can in handcuffs. Some random place. It was, it was pretty cute and sad all at the same time. <laughs> I was like, oh, poor Teddy. He's being held hostage. I don't actually need these glasses for anything other than decoration at the moment. Hey. Oh! Wow, that was... <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> I literally made him jump out of his chair. <laughs> oh, that was good. I didn't even see you. Wow. They're all just filing in for me to headshot him to death with bats. I'm a little bit OP, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Whoa! I did not say that you could drop down from the ceiling and do that to me. Here's hoping I finish. Nope. Here's that's what I get for saying that I'm a little bit OP. Didn't quite make him jump out of his chair this time. Didn't get the sneak attack damage. And that's how... <laughs> you get readers to laugh creepily at themselves. But the fact that one of their friends just died here... Apparently still hidden, even though you're just standing, staring at a wall right there. My, ooh, that was nasty. Ooh, the thing I need is down there. Well, bye. And if Gav happens to come down here, which I assume he probably will shortly, let's get out I'm just getting started. the shotgun. Nothing interesting on you. Come on. Don't you hurt my puppy. I will blast the shit out of you. I guess I'm the change even though it doesn't really matter right now. You'll go down a lot easier than your pal did. have a 10 ball. But we'll take it anyway. I definitely have a 14. We have 4, 12. What did they do to you, you poor guy? I'll take all your stuff. I don't get why raiders just like to prop people up like that and leave them there. I mean, wouldn't it smell after a while? Like, that's the one thing that bugs me when I'm 
working on my settlements is like all these raiders will come in and then I'll have a bunch of bodies all over the ground because you know they thought that they could kill me and they can't and then I can't clean out the bodies and it's just not as, as nice as I like it to be I picked up one of those already didn't I? yes alright we can move again Let's see how long this lasts. Oh boy. Well, that would have been terrifying if it had actually gone off while I was down there, but it didn't, so. Ooh, you're a. Oops. Lost my buttons for a minute there. Um, I should really move from the floor. Um, whoa, dog meat, come up here. Ah, oh, you're fine. Experimentation locks. Let's see, gasket seals. God damn it, that's the third set of gasket seals that's blown this week. The whole damn thing is full of mesh water again. Uh, the first batch always works like a charm, but if you have to pop the chassis open every every couple of days to replace gaskets, no one is gonna want to buy one of these things. Hmm. I wonder if the cultures are retaining more heat due to the flesh or the flash <laughs> fermentation process. That extra heat could be what is causing the problem. I reworked the design to move the thermal exchanger to the coils, wrap around the bottling siphon, and that seems to have done the trick. Not only are the gaskets not melting, but it also cools the beer as it bottles it, ice cold, every time. One of my patrons also gave me a lead on a possible investor, Jack West, the manager over at Hotel Rexford, apparently just came in to an inheritance and could front the cash. I need to get the drinking buddy into full production. He He's agreed to my terms if I let him run the prototype at the hotel for a month to drum up additional press. Recipes. Uh, Mr. West has run into a slight problem in that the hotel is contractually obligated to only serve Gwinnett beer, so I can't use my own recipes. Luckily, I know a guy who knows a guy that has cracked the encryption on their proprietary brewing hollow tapes. So we've put the code into the subroutines for now. It's risky if Gwinnett's layers catch wind, or <laughs> layers, lawyers catch wind, but hopefully it's just a stop gap till we can get into production or work something out with them. Wes is really starting to get on my nerves. First, it's the hang up with the recipes. Now he says the drinking buddy looks too impersonal. Impersonal? What a pompous ass. I told him that uh, with the brewing vat, there is no room for the servos needed to simulate a face, and that idiot asked me just to put some gauges on the front like they were eyes. I'm just going to deliver it to the theater during intermission on Friday, and he'll just have to get over it. Hmm, getting to Rexford may be tricky. The body could probably take a district er, direct hit from a truck, but the large servos on the Protectrons are weak and slow. Maybe I'd better rent a truck. I'll stash the boot-up password here in the basement till I get delivery or er, de get the delivery sorted out. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Well, that's interesting to know. Where would you have put the password? Ah, I'm smart one. Cool. Let's give you a shot.
Please advise, blah, blah, blah. Protectron control. Activate units. Startup sequence unknown. Hardware detected. Auxiliary files detected. Flashing operational subroutines. Micro brewers operational. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dispensary operational. Detecting brewing subroutines. Hollow tape detected for women. Fail out. Start up sequence complete. Dispensing sample for approval by technician. How would you describe the testing sample provided? Hmm. Cold and refreshing, sure. Cold and refreshing. Do you know how long it's been since I had cold beer? Very good. I appear to be operating at an optimal level. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Sure. Yeah, sure. Beginning transit operations to Hotel Rexford. Follow drinking buddy to the hotel. Okay, well, looks like it's an escort mission from here.